back to my channel. I'm super, super excited for this review. This unit that I have on right now is a unit that I won from Motown Trust called LDP Moon in the color copper. I would love for you to stay tuned and see how I turned LDP Moon Copper into what I have on right now. Also, this is a, my first collab video. Do you guys believe it? This is my first collab video with my sister, August Nicole. Now, the weird thing about it is that I'm born in August, and her real name is August. I was like, I thought your name was Nicole. She's like, no, my name is August, and I'm trying to do her accent. I'm from New York, and listen, she has got the sweetest accent I've ever heard in my life. She's an absolute sweetheart. She reached out to me, and she said, hey, Faye. You're a small YouTuber, just like I'm a small YouTuber. You want to do a collab? And I said, sure, why not? So we are doing a springtime collab, a copper color collab. So I chose this wig that I won from Motown Trust in the color copper. And she has purchased a unit herself in the color copper. And we are going to be the copper collab connection. You get it? <laughs> so... So I want you guys to stay tuned. I want you guys to go over to my sister's channel. Go over to August Nicole's channel and watch her content. She's super sweet. She's a sweetheart. I want you guys to do what I asked you to do for me. What I asked you to do for all my other YouTube sisters is to like, to comment, subscribe, share, and get notified. Get notified to her channel. And when you get over there, you tell her, boom sent me. Show us some love, guys. Show us some love. So I want you guys to stay tuned for this unit right here. I hope I have inserted my sister's picture somewhere. Still learning this thing. So here, 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 here. I hope I have inserted it somewhere in here. But if I have not figured that out yet, her information is going to be in the description box down below. Just click the link and go. Just click the link and go. Go on over. Go on over and check her page out and check out her content and definitely tell her I sent you and share the love. The love that you share with me. Share the subby love. That's what it's all about. Share the subby love. <laughs> so guys, stay tuned for this review. Motown Tress, LDP Moon in the color copper. I'll be right back. On this lovely unit right here. And I'm super excited to see what it is and what she looks like and what we can do with it. So this unit obviously is going to be straight out the box. First time review. This is a Motown Tress. And this item is called LDP Moon. And she is the color Copper. Her finish length is 10 inches. The color shown on the stock card is 1B. Like I said, I have the color Copper. And she has what they call a spinnable part which you should be able to spin the right or the left or wear her in the center. She has air-to-air -air lace with a baby here. Let's see if she is heat safe up to any certain degrees. Like I said, I'm just opening her up. I just received her in the mail. Um, The inside of the care card just gives you your typical care constructions, and I do not see any heat safe requirements on this although i would not apply any heat to this i don't see why she is a curly synthetic unit dupe for like an afro type 4b 4c type here so right out of the pack and let's get to it the color is amazing look at that copper color oh i'm super excited let's give you the cap constructions for Miss LDP Moon. Okay. She has your typical cap construction. She has your two combs on either side by the temple side. She has one comb in the back and she does come with your adjustable straps. She has ear to ear lace. It is soft lace and she has that standard weft cap. Now, the cap feels a little snug, and I'm a 22 to 22 and a half size head, but I will let you know. Let me show you the parting area. 
the parting area on the wig. It's kind of dense. We might have to open it up. Let's see what we can do. I'm not sure if I will apply the powder straight into the part or apply it underneath. And she does come with baby hair. Now they call these baby hairs and I call them baby bangs. So we have some work to do guys. But I think that she's super cute. And I think she is good for those ladies that love a natural look. So it's springtime, y'all. Let's start with these colors. So let's get this copper on. Let's see what LDP Moon looks like and what we have to do with her to get her popping and hot for the spring slash summertime. Right back, guys. This is LDP Moon straight out of the pack. This is her parting space right here. I do not have on a wig cap under here at all. These are the baby hairs. Guys. You see why I call them baby bangs? They're in my eyeball. So I am definitely going to go off camera and adjust those, pluck those out and thin those out just a little bit. She fits comfortably on my head. She is definitely big head friendly. I have her adjusted to the tightest and she still has a lot of space. She does not have ear tabs at all, but she comes all the way down right on top of my ears. She is shiftable from the middle to the left and to the right. Oh. Mm. Kind of like that on the right side right there. So uh, let's see what I can do with Miss LDP Moon. And of course, of course, of course, I am going to tell you guys what I would call Miss LDP Moon. Like I said, I'm not sure if I am going to apply the press powder on top in the actual parting space or if I'm going to apply it on underneath and I'll let you guys know when I come back let me go work on these um baby bangs right here <laughs> Is my final result for LDP Moon from Motown Trust. Guys, I don't know if you saw, I went in with my scissors and I cut a few face frame and layers. I decided to wear her closer to the right side and I think she looks really, really cute. I think this is like a natural afro type blowout, 4B to 4C type here. And the color is really, really cute for springtime. The hair is really, really soft. Of course, over time, you're going to get some tangling because of how tightly coiled and curled the hair is. What I also did is I went in with my lot of body milk and honey, 24-hour um, tame me. And that's just for the edges. I just cut those baby bangs that were all the way in my eyeball. I cut them really short and I just did a little soup, soup de soup. Now, as I went in and I placed my, my powder... What I did is I went underneath, underneath the lace, and I placed the powder to fit me into 360 underneath the lace. Then I went in with my regular 330 that you guys seem to use, and I tried to place it in the top. Now, what happened was everything just kept blending in and kind of washing each other out. Now, look at that. Now that I have done what I did... Now the space looks a whole lot better. Now the trick to what I did, um, I've seen plenty of wig gurus do, especially is that your hair, and that's my homegirl Gladys. Hey Gladys, this your tips 
really, really works. She lets you learn these little tricks and tools on how to slay your wigs to make them appear more natural. All I did is I went in with my Maybelline New York Tattoo Studio, as you guys saw me do. And this, I think this is in the color dark brown. More than likely, this is in the color dark brown because that's the darkest I go. I never go black with anything to do with my brows. And what I did is I went in and I created darker roots to make the parting space pop a little bit better in this wig. So you can see that I went all along here and I put a little extra long streaks in between the hair to make it seem as appear as it was growing out and that made the parting space pop out better on this wig. Then I also went in with just a regular spoolie, eyebrow spoolie, held the hair down and then I brushed it from the roots outward on into the rest of the hair. And that's just a little trick you guys can do for when you have a richly colored unit that is richly colored from the root all the way out to the tip and you have a parting space and you don't want it to appear as wiggy as it looks. So the tricks to the trade is just, you can even get a black magic marker. I've seen my homegirl Jessica Wicks to Wanderlust just going with a regular black marker. She she says she takes it from her school for my kids. I believe her. <laughs> but she just takes a regular black magic marker and does the same exact trick. And that's the way how you can open up your parting space and make your wigs appear more natural looking. And sometimes the wigs look a little better with a darker root. A lot of people prefer a darker root just like I do. So this is my final result for LDP Moon from Motown Trust. I just really want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to Motown Trust for awarding me with this wig in that giveaway. I was surprised and I'm truly grateful and truly thankful in this color copper. Like I said, I'm ready to collab. So listen, I know this is the part where I like. I hope you guys like this part as well. This is when I tell you guys what I call this wig. Now I didn't have a lot of time to even think about it because, oh, look at the body and the shake on her. I feel like Tina turning just a little bit. Do you see it? Listen, this is the part that I truly, truly love, and this is when I tell you guys what I call this unit. Now, since she's called LDP Moon, come on, guys. I'm waiting for it. Drum roll, please. I call her Moni, and I'm going to stick to that. So when you see me out here in the streets of Brooklyn, you don't say, hey, Faye, and you don't say, hey, Boom. You go, hey, Moni, and I go, hey, Boo. How are you? Like I said, once again, thank you guys for coming back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, thank you again. And also, thank you one more time to Motown Trust. Thank you to my sister, August Nicole. Listen, wait for it. It's going to be bad. It's going to be a bad, bad, bad collab. And you know, bad meaning good. Not good meaning bad, but bad meaning good. Is that is that how you say it? <laughs> I don't know. Listen, guys, I'm going to be back with more content, so... Come on back to my channel. So from your girl, boom to you. See ya.